Change doesn't affect the captaincy. Sam Warburton comes in, but big Luke Charteris, the man who gets to lead the Welsh team out tonight. Great honour for him. Fantastic servant of Wales rugby over the years. Wales, led by Captain Luke Charteris. Here he is, Charteris. 66 test matches over a 12-year international career. Very good line out forward. Been in the shadow of Alan Wynne Jones in recent years, but tonight he gets the chance to captain his country. Well, great moment for Luke Charteris. Equally so for the venerable Stephen Donald, the captain of the Chiefs tonight. Nearing the end of a storied career. Black was uh, back with the Chiefs, but only fleeting appearances in 2016. Good opportunity for the Chiefs to keep things ticking over in the June break ahead of a tough run to the Super Rugby playoffs. An opportunity for some of the younger players. That's Lachlan Boshia there. Forms part of a, a very young loose forward trio. And Mitchell Brown, what an occasion for him. The young flanker on debut. And it's a, an international debut for the 22-year-old from Inglewood in Taranaki. So Boshia, Sanders and Brown, a very young loose trio tonight for the Chiefs, who now come together, and for the first time, they will perform their own haka before a match. A very momentous occasion as we welcome our way to the Times. Chief for a night, Damien Hemwood. Goes We've to seen Barclay, their haka in victory Damien after their two Super Rugby titles, but tonight... To mark the occasion, they do it before the match. team on this stadium since 1988 and Wales get the ball back from the kickoff and straight away an opportunity for Scott Williams the big inside centre to run at the defence hooker is Scott Baldwin and now an early touch for Warburton backing up from the test match now a chance to get it wide and Matthew Morgan who's a talented fullback. Skipper Charteris there in support. Promising start here for Wales. And now it is Jake Ball with a wind-up. Priestland moves it out into centre field. And here's Josh Turnbull. Solid looking number six. Williams again. Tom James, the left winner, wearing the black headgear. And a penalty. So some good defence from the Chiefs under pressure. Weber puts it in, try and work it quickly back through the scrum, but under pressure, taking it off the back. Now Tom Sanders, good charge from the number eight. Put him into touch on the far side. Behind the mark. But already Wales showing they've got an edge at scrum time. And in and out as quickly as possible will be the key tonight, although this was a good run, Cully. You realise they're under, under the pump at the back there, took it off to the blind side. You're right, that's the sort of 
the scrum tie near to get the ball straight to the back and out as quick as possible. All right, he's coming. Tom Sanders, the man from Little River on Banks Peninsula. Charteris. He's been beaten to the punch. Mitchell Brown getting up and knocking it away for the Chiefs. So, good response. They lost the first line out the Chiefs. Now they get one back off Wales and an opportunity to go onto the attack. Donald tucks the ball and has a go. Seen that so many times before. And here's Brent Weber in for the opening try. Vintage Stephen Donald and the little halfback finishes the job. Well, absolutely, Stephen the Beaver Donald. We know how hard he can run. Here's a line out still, still here. Great work. And this here, Wales are up half, but that step in the fend and the Carpex support line there, Weber. Too much pace. We talked about it in the pregame. When will we see it? And straight away, dummy and go off the left. Great fend, great strength. Great skill, and Weber, like any good halfback supporting on the inside, has great speed. And the Chiefs, they strike first. Not falling off their tackles, though, the Chiefs. Well, it's just a little bit bunched up now. Maybe a chance to get some width on it. Again, good speed on defence. Scott Williams cut down by Horrell. Priestland gets a lovely ball away to Morgan and the little fullback scampers down the touch. Good support and field from Gareth Davis. Stretching out. Can't outplank the defence, but right there on his shoulder is Sam Warburton. Great opportunity now. Davis. And referee playing advantage here to Wales. Evans gets rid of it. Williams. Tackle made by Sanders. And now the penalty. It's a pretty good front row. See how his knee hits the ground there, loses his bind. And uh, now the arm goes out. They give it to Priestland, pops it up, and here's that slippery winger we were talking about. Eli Walker just short. But great opportunity here now. Williams tried to slip through. Couldn't beat the tackle of Horrell. And they'll come, come back. To the back no here. He's on the ball. For the penalty. And here they go again. Chiefs initially holding firm. Knee on the ground from Fissi Ihoi. And uh, taking it off the back. James King. He's just short of the line, the number eight. Ball's tied up. Oh, a penalty goes to the Chiefs. Weber away to Donald. Swings it out to Leonard Brown. He's wrapped up. Williams going over the top. See. Snatched away by Weber. They've lost ground. They've still got the ball. Weber ducking under the tackle of Evans. And Donald again tucks the ball under his wing and has a charge. They go low now up in the line. James Lowe always dangerous. Flying up too quickly. Referee has the arm out. His bird. Weber, they can have a real go at it now. Low pops a nice ball away to Marshall. He's taken just a couple short of line. Sanders has a go. Can't quite get there. Weber fires it away. Bird. He's put on the ground right out in front of the posts. Another charge from Sanders. He's got that down. Second try to the Chiefs. And it's scored by Tom Sanders. Well, what a great build-up by the Chiefs. 17 phases that took them. But getting over the advantage line, the tackle line. Blowing the breakdown. Weber on to... Yeah, look at this run here. Weber on to low. Great ball there. And they just recycled, blew the ruck. And in the end, this Welsh team just ran out of numbers. That ball there is great. But the strength here and the mates in behind. Don't underestimate how hard it is with that camp contact coming through to finish that try. Donald 
Fires it on. He's low. Bobbing around. Looking for a hole. And, uh, Tomorrow. Scott Williams is a big man, the centre. He's coming, Reed. He's coming, Trying to get him to ground. Here's the ball. And Weber. A oh, beautiful run by Stephen Donald. Off he goes. Turns it back and field. Fitzy Ehoi. Big Siggy charging. Loses the ball behind him. Picked up by Donald. Would you believe it? He's in. I think they'll have to check this one. But Stephen Donald's gone over. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look. I think this is the. Yeah, you, I never have had a grand live. Well, I don't think he's got a hand under that, has he? No, I think any other day that would be given, right? I mean, it's. No, we can't see it on TV. But well, the, uh, I don't know if you can see the grounding now. That's always the challenge, isn't it? But it's held up because we haven't got a clear grounding. Agreed. Five minutes run, black ball. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Oh, no Stephen Donald's been denied. Scott Bucker on the inside. He's in the start position, that's for sure. Here it comes. Weber. And here is Donald. Oh, no way through there. Went straight into Josh Turnbull. Well, Wales. They've had one escape. Can they hold out now? Weber. Flips the ball away to Donald, moves it on to Lowe. Oh, sting coming into these Welsh tackles. Seal picks it up. No, 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 again, no, no, no. Weber scampering in quickly. Pops it up to Leonard Brown. For the knock on. Away it goes, Donald moving it wide. Now big Dominic Bird with the ball in one hand. Dominic Bird once again finding the space, utilising the ball. The Wales just hang, hung off there, hung, they're coming up hard, but they just hung off Bird and let him run. He does a step, great step for a lock there, and puts his head down. Beautiful. Well, when you're two metres plus, the side step's going to shift you a long way. And look at this, boom, he's gone. Accelerates through, changes the hand. What a finish, Cully. We've got to be proud of that, surely. Chiefs might have turned this over here. Well, there's a knock on. Let's go, boys. And that's half time. Well, what a stunning first half from the Chiefs lead by 21 to nil. Turnbull. Another good tackle. Sanders leading the defensive line. Priestland moves it on. Now here's the Tom James, the big left winger. And he gets them going forward. Good run from James. Get there. Davis He's arrives. In the ruck. So the, the ball ruck. No problem. has been worked through on the chief side. And Tony Pulu puts the kick ahead. That's going to drift into touch on the full. Probably we're hoping not to use him tonight. But here's the line out drive. Now Wales have got this set up. They're over. And it looks like the replacement hooker coming up with the ball, Christian Dacey. Well, that time they got the line-out drive perfectly. And they're on the board at last. It's taken them 55 minutes, but Christian Dacey scores the try. First of the night for Wales. Yeah, when we talk about them changing it up, and this time they got it right. They've got the ball to the back nice and tight. Going forward, the Chiefs disintegrate. And look at that, just all Welsh players there. No stopping that. Yeah, well, the Chiefs initially missed the contact point, didn't they? So once the momentum was achieved by Wales, it was going to be very, very difficult for them to stop. <laughs> Wales. They know there are a chance in this game now. A few gaps starting to open up. And here is Williams. Fires it back and field to Davis. Williams cut down from behind by Anton Leonard Brown. Boshi are fighting for it on the ground, but Wales sends a chance to come in. Roberts stalling towards the line. And over they go. Not quite. Real urgency oh, about back. Wales now. 
Well, the Chiefs have defended stoutly, but can they keep holding out? Jarvis has held up just short. Use it. King is over the ball. King held up by Sayu. Another try here, and it's all on. Davis over the ball. He's just short. Chiefs really having to man the pumps now. Over they go in a heat, but it's still there. Davis goes beyond Roberts. And oh, good defense. Horrell, Leonard Brown chopping down Scott Williams. Now Jamie Roberts again. Davis. That was a little change of direction. Oh, can the Chiefs hold out? Priestland moves it on. The dangerous James. Morgan skips out of a couple. Chiefs just starting to fall off the odd tackle now. After all this pressure. Wide it goes. Here's the chance. Walker. But he's been put in the touch by James Lowe. I think the referee wants to have a look here. I don't know that he used his arms. No. Says it was okay. Let's have a look. Pass away to Leonard Brown. Now here is Lowe. Spots a hole. James Lowe tries to get the fin going. Good tackle made by Morgan. Ball's on the ground. And the referee says he can play that. Well, he's gone over the touchline anyway, Charles. Crowd didn't like it, but the ball was out. And although taking it quickly, here's Leonard Brown. Well, they're still okay. trying to keep it moving. Weber uh, looking for one more try that could really put this out of reach. Weber, Donald, now Elliot. Pulua Matangi has a little snipe. Patchell gets hands onto it, but no, good no, no, clean no, out, no, good no, support there from Pulu coming in. Donald has another go at them. How the heck's he still out there? Now Horrell just slipping as he's confronted no, by no, Charteris. Trying to hold it up, Leonard Brown, ball squirts away, picked up by Talini Seal, and he breaks! Seal gets it away! James Lowe scores! That might just do it! Well, the ball bounced loosely, and the Chiefs pounce on it. James Lowe initially started with the break. Here's his break here, he spots. James King out there, gasses him on the outside, tries to go here, but they just recycle. He made their initial break in here, just the hands, the bubble there. But then here, away he goes, and James Lowe in support. And the Chiefs hit back. It was great work for Sayu, wasn't it? His awareness to pick the ball up, get himself in the right place. Urgency. And then strength, he spins away here and accelerates through. And then the timing of the pass, perfect to low. And you can see there, just the sting gone out of some of the Wales players. Not Patchell though, Reese Patchell tried to get the offload away, but Mitchell Brown's there. And what a good debut he's had tonight. Hamilton trying to chip kick through, it sits up for Seu. And look out, you want to stop him. Kick ahead, Polo's after it. Polo, can he control it? He Shane, can we just uh, review this here, looking at the touchline, and uh, advise any reason I can't award the try? Just wondering whether there was just a hint of a man in front of the ball when Sayu kicked it through. 
Yeah, yeah, I initially thought Pulu might have been in front. Oh, oh boy. Hey, how's he managed to stay and play? Now Between the legs, that's an outstanding piece of... He's nutmegged him. Oh. Look at the sense he's onside. You'd have to say that's a pretty line, line ball, Kelly. Yeah, we've seen those go against teams, though, but, I, but I'm picking it's pretty line born. Are you there, Mike? Yes. Uh, I can give you no reason the okay. player was in the field of play. OK, so I can award the try. Yeah. Thank you. Try it is. Tony Pulu's speed was always going to win the race. It was just a matter of whether he could control it. But some more brilliant skill from Big Taleni Seu. You'd have to well, say that's been the difference, isn't it, Kelly, between these two teams? Well, I mean, TJ talked about energy on defence, but what I've liked tonight is when they got the ball, they've got plenty of energy, plenty of counter-attack, looking to, to score on this here. I mean, the skill from the big man, Taleni Seu, look at that, steps out, tries to kick it around, and goes between the legs. And then there's people say... The fastest man in New Zealand rugby, Pulu. Sit! Shaping to kick Leonard Brown. And Hamilton away it goes to McNichol, who uh, made that amazing tackle. And with the flying... Eli Walker. Roll away, tackle. In the half. Well, really, it's just a matter of by how many now. Quickly through the hands of Leonard Brown away to low. Nice turn past back and field to Hicker Elliott. Really injected something into the game after coming on at half time. Hamilton. Leonard Brown stabs a little kick through. They've really beaten up that defence with all sorts of brilliance tonight. And now, it's a try to Sam McNichol. That rush defence, they have killed it tonight here, the Chiefs. This time, the chip kick ahead, and Sam McNichol gets another one. Now we talked earlier how dangerous this rush defence could be. Wales very, very flat, spotting the space in behind. And on Leonard Brown there, look at the bounce here. Lovely hands there by Sam and Nickel Morgan, no chance. They'll be looking for that space and behind that defensive line all night. And this time it was Leonard Brown who has been very, very good. And that was perfect. And Sam McNichol, he can fly on the back of that great covering tackle. He gets reward for a good chase and a great try. Well and truly thumped here tonight by this brilliant Chiefs team, Patchell. Tackle made by McNichol. Play carries on. Some players feeling the heat from this battle. There's a knock on. It ends on an error by Wales. And what a victory for the Chiefs. 14 points to seven. Their first ever international match and they have come up with something quite special.